Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? In today's video, we're going to be going through footballers' nationality eligibility. I've been playing a lot of football manager recently, and it just blew me away how many football players have dual nationality that they can play for a whole host of different countries. So in today's video, we're going to be going through some of the best nationality eligibility for players. Like, just think, like for example, this is one of the crazy ones. David Silva is actually half Japanese. He could play for the Japanese international team if he chose to. Ross Barkley can play for the Nigerian. He did declare for England, but if he wanted to, he could play down in Africa for Nigeria. Ronaldo could play for England because he came to England when he was really young. Uh, Messi got offered a job um, in the, not a job, well, a position in the Spanish national team. It's just really, really cool to think how having these players like in the current national teams could just really reshape it. Obviously, like having Ronaldo play for England, like I said, Ross Barkley play for play for Nigeria, David Silva playing for Spain. Now, there's a whole host of reasons why people are eligible for different international teams. Obviously, firstly, depending on where you're born, your parents and your grandparents, some people are refugees and some people are fleeing war-torn countries and move around a lot, so they're e eligible for a, uh, a lot of squads. Like Subotic, for example, he was Serbian. He fled the war to Germany, uh, but then he spent most of his early, young, uh, early life in America. So he's also eligible for to play for Germany, the United States, and he did actually choose to play for Serbia. So guys, if you want to see more of these type of videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. It's the best way for me to gauge if you want to see maybe a part two of this video or maybe sort of some other nationality um eligibility videos because I guarantee you I don't have everyone in this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if I miss anyone. So let's get stuck into the video. Okay guys, first up we have Cristiano Ronaldo. He moved to Manchester United from sporting at a very young age so he is eligible for the England international team which I think is just crazy. <laughs> Imagine Ronaldo playing under Gareth Southgate now. <laughs> <laughs> would be an absolute dream, but uh, unfortunately he did declare, well, unfortunately for England fans, he did declare, obviously, for his home country of um, Portugal. Now, very much in the same boat with Messi, was brought to Barcelona, to the Catalans at a very young age, so he is actually able to play for Spain. He, was, re he did receive an offer to play for the Spanish international team, but he did reject. Now, let's talk about Ross Barkley. Now, Ross Barkley was born in England, England, but he can play for Nigeria. That is one of his nationality eligibilities. From what I can remember, it's one of his grandparents have Nigerian citizenship or whatnot, so he can and actually play for them. So imagine Ross Barkley playing for Nigeria. Now let's talk about Begovic. He was born in Bosnia Herzegovina. However, he was raised in Canada, so he can play for the Canadian international team. I'm pretty sure he played at a youth level. But imagine Begovic playing for the big old Canadians, the big old Canucks. <laughs> I just found that really, really interesting. That's, uh, that's maybe why he plays in England, because he can speak English very, very well and loves the sort of Western sort of English culture. Um, okay, so Dybala can actually play for Poland and Italy. Imagine Robert Lewandowski and Dybala up front. That would be absolutely nuts. So, uh, he can play for Poland, Dybala, if he chose to. He obviously did decide to play for Argentina. Now, David Silva is of Spanish descent. Now, for some reason, it doesn't say here, but he can actually play for the Japanese international team. His father was a Japanese police officer, so he's half Japanese, which is it's really cool to think about it as well. Imagine David Silva playing for the Japanese international team with the likes of Shinji Kagawa, Kozuki Honda. Now, let's talk about Rossi, the 30-year-old, the Manchester United Academy, was actually born in the United States of America to Italian parents. Parents. And uh, I, I can't remember if he actually played for the United States on an international level, maybe as a youngster. But uh, yeah, he was born in New Jersey to uh, Italian parents and could play for the American international team if he chose to. He did choose to go through 
to Spain, though. Mario Gomez. He was born in Germany, but Gomez awfully sounds Hispanic. And, uh, yeah, he actually can play for Spain. I do believe he has a Spanish father and is eligible to play for the Spanish international team. He has elected to play for Germany, Move uh, though. Uh, more Okay, right. So we've got El Shawari here. Stefan El Shawari. He was born in Italy. However, he has Egyptian as his other nationality. So you can see El Shawari play for the Italian international team, maybe with Mohamed Salah, would be quite interesting and could actually play in the African Cup of Nations as well. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he can actually play for Bosnia, even though he's born in he was born in Sweden. He plays for Swede, uh, Sweden. Uh, some of these. Some of these players have sort of multiple uh, international options, uh, like Adnan Janazai. I think he has like five or something. He's got Kosovo, Serbia, um, Belgium, England, and a fair few others. Now, this is a very, very interesting one. Aubameyang can actually play for France. He was actually born in France, believe it or not, but he plays for Gabon in Africa now. Diego Costa obviously was born in Brazil. This was... Not too many years ago, there was a whole debacle about him. Uh, well, some some the Brazilian coach pretty much said uh, you betrayed your country, <laughs> deciding to play for Spain. He uh, he was born in Brazil. That's his other nationality, but he declared to play for Spain. Now, Pepe was an interesting role as well. He was born in Brazil. He can play for the Brazil international team, but they just didn't pick him, and he sort of felt betrayed. Then he decided to uh, go to Portugal, and he has won a Euro on the back of that. So, good on you, Pepe. Now, let's talk about Thiago Motta. He plays for the Italian international team, but he was born in Brazil. He can actually play for the Brazilian international team as well. He is ineligible. I can't remember everyone ones if they've played youth matches uh, for these sides, but most of them have. Kevin Prince Botang, the half-brother of Jerome Botang. He was born in Germany, Berlin. However, he feels more Ghanan. He could actually play for Germany. Um, I I'm pretty sure Jerome was born, his half-brother was born in Germany as well. He plays for the German international team. Ozil Obviously born in Germany, but he does have Turkish descent. There are a lot of ethnic Turks in Germany because of the whole... From what I can remember, my history, there was a whole workers thing that Germany wanted to get a bunch of new workers in, and a, a huge Turkish minority went in there and really boosted up the country. So that's why there's, I think, like Emery Chan, Gundogan, also have uh, Turkish ancestry, which is really quite cool. Um, you, you think of these players in a different way once you found out, like, what are their other nationalities as well. Um, we've got Mares here. He was born in France. He can actually play for France, Morocco, and, of course, he plays for Algeria. There's, there's a lot of African countries that can play in... There's a lot of African players who are from Africa that can play in France because there's a lot of... I don't know what the equivalent would be. They're sort of like former Commonwealth countries, but to French colonies. That's what I'm trying to think about. There's a lot of former French colonies in Africa. That's why there's a lot of African players in the French international team, like Algeria and whatnot. Now, interestingly enough, <laughs> Griezmann does have Basque as his other nationality, but he actually can play for Spain and Portugal if he chose to. But he has declared for France. He was born in France. So that's a very interesting one. Imagine Griezmann and Ronaldo up front would be very, very dangerous. Now, David Alaba. Now, he's got a couple of nationalities. He was born in... Oh, I'm pretty sure he was born in Austria. Yeah, he was born in Austria. However... He can play for the Philippines in Asia. He could verse maybe Australia at some point if he decided to go with them and maybe an, an Asian uh, run or something. I don't, can't remember the competition name in Asia. But yeah, he's decided to play for Austria, can play for Nigeria or the Philippines. Sami Kadira has a Tunisian parent and... Yeah, he can play for Tunisia, another African country here. So that that's really quite cool. I love all these dual nationalities. It, it, it really, really just blows my mind. Like, imagine um, also Zidane, uh, Zidane? Zid Zinedine Zidane. That's what I meant to say, Zidane. <laughs> he was actually born in France. However, he can actually play for Algeria, another Frenchman who could uh, play for 
Nigeria, uh, not Nigeria, Algeria, my mistake, that's a huge difference there. Now, Adnan Janazai, let's talk about him. Obviously, because he was a youngster in England, he can play for England, he can play for Kosovo, I think he can play for Turkey as well, he can play for Kosovo, Turkey, Serbia, Albania, he has elected to play for Belgium, it's because he's got so many different grandfathers and grandparents from different countries. Now, Gonzalo Higuain, some of you might not know this, Gonzalo was actually born in France, and... He can play for the French international team if he wanted to. He has decided to play for Argentina. But imagine a Bamiyang and Higuain up front. That would be really quite cool. Rakitic is a Croatian. He was born in Switzerland, though. So he could play for the Swiss international side with Shakiri and Bolo Xhaka. Uh, maybe even Ricardo Rodriguez. But he is played. he's playing for Croatia with the likes of Luka Modric. Okay, moving on to the next player now. We have Wilfred Zaha. Now, in this football manager so like save, uh, it hasn't updated because obviously in real life he's elected to go to the Ivory Coast. I think he was like, I think a couple of years ago he was playing for the Ivory Coast. Then he went back to England. Now he's gone back to the Ivory Coast. Marouane Fellaini is plays for Belgium. He was born in Belgium. I'm pretty sure his father was a Moroccan taxi driver and he actually can play for Morocco, which I wouldn't have, so I didn't think, um, I didn't think uh, Fellaini had Moroccan in him. That's really, really quite cool. He could play for another African side there. Uh, Lewis Holtby can play for England, even though he was born in Germany. Now, Kevin De Bruyne is another interesting one as well. He was born in Belgium. He can play for the Belgium international team. However, his mother is actually English. Kevin De Bruyne is half English. His mother was born at, in England, and his father is obviously from Belgium. So Kevin De Bruyne could... Um, play for England if you chose to. Lucas Podolski, born in Poland, has elected to play for the German international team, but he could play for Poland. There's a couple of Poles that can play for Germany and vice versa. Same with Robert Lewandowski, he can play for Germany if he wanted to. Um, I think him, Podolski and Klose were the two that were born in Germany, uh, born in Poland that can play for Germany. Now, I spoke about Subotic earlier on. He was fleeing his war-torn country of Serbia. He moved to, he moved to Germany at a very young age, but then spent most of his teenage years and his youth in America and actually played for the American international team before he had a... Uh before he had a controversy with the manager, I can't remember the details off the top of my head, but then he decided to play for his home country of Serbia. We have Magidi. The famous Magidi Spin was born in Scotland. And where was he born in Scotland, actually? Glasgow. Glaswegian, eh? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, yes, he, can, he was born in Scotland. He can play for Scotland, but however, he's elected to play for the Irish international team. There's a fair few English players with other British Isles and ancestry, like, like obviously the Republic of Ireland, like Wales, like Northern Ireland and Scotland. However, to get game time, they've made the decision to play for those other sides, unlike, uh, unlike uh, playing for England, because there's usually a really big pool. Uh, we've got Sami Nasri, born in France, but is eligible to play for Algeria, a former colony of France, of course. Paul Pogba, born in France, can play for uh, Ghana here, which is really... Oh, no. Guinea. I don't even know how to say that African country. But I know it's not Ghana, to say the least. Moving on to our last player here, we have Karim Benzema who is eligible to play for Algeria as well. But guys, I hope you have learnt something. I hope you've learnt someone's different nationality. Some of them have just blown me away, if I'm being honest. I didn't know Aubameyang was born in France, alongside Gonzalo Higuain. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you watched all the way through, let me know in the comment section down below if there's any players that I've missed out. Hopefully you've learnt some new players' eligible nationality, some of the players' dual citizenship, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if I've missed any out. I could do a part two of this because there are a lot of players that I still have missed out. Leave a like and a comment if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourselves some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some PSN and Xbox codes, maybe even Football Manager, maybe some Xbox Live, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for good games and, and whatnot. Okay, go check out my Patreon if you
if you haven't already as well, come and join the Steam group. You do need to have a Steam account, of, of course. But, uh, yeah, come and join the community. Come chat with fellow community members. We've got a good thing going over there on the Steam group. Um, but, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.